All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2025 edition series of like Discord tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to see what apps and games and bots have access to your information on Discord in your authorized app settings. So if we pop into your user settings, which is this gear here in the lower left hand corner, you can pop into your personal settings and what we want here is at the top of the left hand sidebar authorized apps. So what this is, is this is a list of all the applications that have access to different types of permissions and information about you on Discord. And you might be surprised or you might not be surprised if you don't do a lot of stuff besides talk to people on Discord which ones of these apps have access to your information. And it's a good idea to occasionally go through here, especially if it's apps you don't use very often and deauthorize them so they can't collect information about you. So these are things like Wordle, which is one of the activities that you can play with your friends in voice channel. Same with the daily Sudoku. I don't use this anymore, but I'm curious what apps permissions it wants. It wants the ability to create commands, send me direct messages, which I hate. I hate when apps do that and access my username, avatar and banner. That's not a really big deal. Uh, you can also read more about their policies up here, uh, but I just want to deauthorize that because I don't actually like that game, nor do I play it anymore. Uh, I don't even know what Soulbound is. What does Soulbound even want? It wants to send me direct messages, create commands, set your current activity, access your username and stuff, and access your email address. So you see, that's what I mean by like, you'd, you'd be surprised what information some of these apps are trying to collect about you. And these people don't really need to keep access to my info longer than necessary. So we're going to remove that. Um, Putt Party, I think I played that once. And that probably wants my email and stuff. Um... Yeah, it reads my member info, nickname, avatar role, and for servers that I belong to, which seems odd, but again, I don't play this that often, so I'm just going to remove it. No idea what Magic Circle is, but it also wants to know, like, username information and more information about me than I want it to know, like my member info, so I'm going to go ahead and deauthorize that as well. Um, I don't remember authorizing AIs, but that's easy enough to remove. I don't play on 5M servers anymore, so that's easy to remove there. Reactive images, that can go away. And then whiteboard. Notify me, I actually use. That one just like gathers information for me and auto posts my uh, videos to my Discord server so that can stay. Groot is a, a music bot, doesn't need my info. Top GG. Is what allows you to vote for Discord bots. I haven't done that in a while. Tickets, I don't use that. Translator, I don't use that either. Uh, Letter League, don't even remember what that is. And you can pretty quickly go through here and remove all of the junk out of your account that you don't use anymore because it's not super important. All right, and just like that, I've trimmed my uh, authorized apps down to next to nothing because it's been a, a long time. Since I went through this and removed all the junk, and it's a good idea to do this once in a while. And this is how you do so uh, and why you probably want to do so. So check it out. Make sure you don't have any stuff lingering in your account that you don't want to have there. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.